Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite here, I'm the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on stage. I have them. We're playing Madden 20, the Dino Minosaurus Dynamonopia <laughs> I forgot I... what the Dinosaga, what was it? Dolphamites. Dolphamites! Frick, Jonas, or I forgot the, the name of our own team. The Dynafins. The Dynafins, I like that, too. Any of them, dude. The Mighty. Yeah, dude, you have uh, 8,000 yards, 100 touchdowns already. So yeah, far. you know, all in a day's work. Yeah, dude, you're, you're what, 13 games in? It's a yeah, nice stride. It's fine, so You're just dude. starting to hit your stride. Yeah, you know. Hey, everybody, it's the just getting warmed up the out here in these streets. Yeah, man, I like these ones because all I have to do is pass, and then they do all the rest. Jonas, have you ever Greco-Roman wrestled before? I'm just asking. Like high school wrestling? Yeah, nope. I guess. No. No, nah, man. I mean, I've like... <laughs> what? Backyard wrestling? No. Were you going to say sumo? I've wrestled with like... Women. Wait the frick. <laughs> Jonas, come on. <laughs> You're going to get your weird sex... No, I'm You're going to get your weird like, no, sex like, stuff all over our never, channel. Like, you've never roughhoused with a woman, like, just playing Jonas. around. Like, not like... Actually yeah, wrestling, but, but just like no. Wait, real quick, Jones. Whose uniforms are these that we're wearing? That's no, the other ones. They are the no, I don't like those uniforms. Yeah, they have some nice uniforms. That green is nice. It's that, that it's like they use a slate blue instead of like yeah. it's like it's like that. Yeah, it's nice. But no, dude. You, I mean, you know what I mean. Like you play around like with like your girlfriend stuff. Like not like really yeah, wrestling, but like you no, know. I usually don't like to walk that line. Really? Why? Because <clears throat> I don't know. I just feel like I might hurt somebody. Yeah, what's like I usually okay. just play the B in that I'll, situation. I'll be, I'll be real about it. You have to like <laughs> go. You, you have to go at like. You have to go at like half strength. Yeah, like good. you just like. Oh, you're never gonna get up. And they're like. Oh, yeah, I am. And you're like. Yeah, you do. I, like, <laughs> no, I, I don't know, man. I don't even like to bring like an air of that into anything because you know one person gets mad. Boom. The other person true, gets well, mad. I mean, like, and also when I was a kid, like we would wrestle. I guess like we would do like we would like, wrestle. Around. Did you ever do backyard wrestling as squirrels? Uh, I put someone through a table one time, but I didn't like really wrestle. Like one time, squirrel jumped off the trampoline and I caught him and put him through a table. Like I caught him, yeah, and then I like put him through a table. That was really it. I remember I was on the bottom of a dog pile with like maybe three guys, uh, three guys on top of me, and somebody jumped off a ladder, a six foot ladder, onto us, and it cracked my back, and I, you know. I thought you were dead. I've never felt the same ever again. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I feel pretty well, but it sucked. It did suck. So I definitely did the backyard wrestling. I had like a leopard print shirt, a big afro wig, and then I had a, a pick that I would stab people. <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't remember that. I used to do some announcing. But I had a cane and everything. I would go and sit and watch, and I'd be on the PA. Yeah. Like announcing. Like, I do remember you doing announcements. Yeah. Yeah, I was in a couple matches. Yeah, dude, I, I have a, a VHS tape of that somewhere. Juggalo oh, Championship God. Wrestling. Like, Juggalo! They Jesus, were, Jonas, do not do that. I just went to the. I just went for the spectacle, man. It was awesome to watch. Whatever. I you, was, were, you were a Juggalo, though. Not with those guys. Not that <laughs> Nah, dude. <laughs> nah, dude. You, you know, I was a juggalo. We, just that with them. We've had this conversation. When that to all thing whole started is when I like got out of this. Yeah, I, I hear you. But you, you, know, you were for a little while. I was. I guess I was a juggalo before juggalo was a thing. Ooh, no. Yeah, because yeah. I was a fan of their albums that came out before they started talking about Juggalos. Once they started that, I was out of it. I was in there for like the end of Riddlebox, Great Malenko. And that's it. And Great Malenko's where they said it. And then I was like, I'm done. I keep attacking. Like, I, I had a very short course. Well, the reason I asked, Jonas, is I wanted to know if you have ever done martial arts or any type of fight training. No, I've never done anything official, no. <coughs> it's all just been, like, like just horsing around things. roughhousing. Like, first yeah, yeah, like, with girlfriends or, like, kid, friends when we were kids, just, like, wrestling around the base. Yeah. I have periodically yeah. done yeah. karate yeah. in my uh, in my past. I did karate yeah. and judo yeah. and... Yeah. and 
something here. A little Jeet Kune Do. That's something I don't know about you. I don't know many people like Yeah, I love that. We, we, we're still learning about each other. We've known each other a very long time. I don't like to talk about myself. I know uh, you don't. I, even, I don't ask you any questions because I don't want to. I even read. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I even read Bruce Lee's book, The Art of Jeet Kune Do. Oh, okay. And I put a lot of that into practice at a point in my life. Okay. And that made me happy. Well, why don't you read that again? I don't, I, it's not about reading the book. It's about maybe even getting back into... Yeah, but it will refresh your mindset of that. Wow, I was really into Jeet Kune Do, Jonas. That's like freaking... It's like boxing to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, like I've never really been a fighter fighter. But okay. I've, I've, been in some, I've been in a fight or two. I don't lose. Wow. He's like, <laughs> I've been in him. I've never lost one. <laughs> I have it, man. But I'm, I'm a pacifist now, man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm realizing my size, and I don't want to fight anybody because I'm automatically going to be looked at as the aggressor. Right. And I don't and maybe that's it. why this rough housing with a girlfriend or whatever never happened because you're already like a large yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and black and all that. You know, that's going. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that going? I don't know. <laughs> That's going around. I mean. You're like, you, I like a certain kind of woman, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Stop calling me out, there. dude. Yeah, <laughs> you caught out the fact that I was in a juggalo themed wrestling league, and the fact that I like white bitches. <laughs> you can't even say <laughs> Caucasian females. Well, I'm just saying, you're calling me out. I said you like a certain type of woman. That's a, it could mean small skinny girls. It could mean big girls. It could mean redheads. It could mean anything. Well, I just I don't know. I feel like if if anybody's initiated enough, they're gonna know what you mean. I'm making no. Wow. <laughs> Any drop a bee bomb on the video on top of it. It's been at least a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't do it again. I don't care. I know it was funny. It was good. I love, it was natural. I love the natural rawness of it. So yeah. Um. So yeah. So call me up. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell everybody how large your uh, wallet is. <laughs> I'm tell him. I swear to God, Jones. I'll tell him how much money you have. <laughs> He's really good at budgeting his funds. <laughs> Typical Caucasian. He's a freaking thousandaire, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, don't want to toot my own horn, but <laughs> I do have about a thousand. Yeah, one thousand. You know what I'm saying? In then I gotta pay rent, and then I'm in the red. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> man. Oh my god! I swear, man. It's like seems like every time I save up money for something, it gets used. Yeah, I like I need to, I need to spend like an oh, exorbitant amount of money on tires, or yeah. Or just something else. Do you want to know up. a secret about how I budget? That sure. helps with that. Like, <laughs> sure, Jones. I guess let's go. Let's, so let's budget on the crazy town dude, these football kids game. Need to learn budgeting too, man. Oh God! <laughs> I budget all my finances on a forty-eight week schedule. Uh huh. So like, but there's um, you're serious. But there's fifty-two no. weeks in the year. What? So I get two free paychecks a year that I don't have to pay bills. I only have to buy weekly expenses. So, so then around the middle of the year and the end of the year, I get a paycheck that I have to take buy groceries and things like that of. But the rest of the money is completely free, hundreds of dollars to do to buy tires or buy clothes that I need or buy whatever. Oh, so you are serious? I'm 100% serious. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you want to know? I probably. I mean. To a certain extent, I do that, but, like, one of my checks is enough to cover, like, well, rent and, and... Well, now and, let's talk about how much money you make, because now maybe some of us don't have that option. <laughs> one of my checks covers everything. I have no, a whole check every month. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> What are you I'm, just, I'm just being. All right, I hope not. But one of my checks is usually about enough to cover like stuff Living for expenses. the month. Yeah. And then like the next check I get the next week, I'm just like, all right, I'll just put that in and spend out of it like uh, sparingly. And I just kind of do that. I'm, I'm. So you use like one check for your expenses and one check for your yeah. day to day, like eating out, buying groceries, gas, all that stuff. Yeah, like I'm a cheap date, man. My, my job is close, so I don't spend a lot in gas. Uh, I'm, 
I don't eat a lot because so I only eat once quarter, a day. Um, I, I spend more money, I would say, in a day on like buying drinks for other people or just like spreading, spreading that. Spreading, yeah, dude. I like to spread the love, man, because it's like I honestly feel like the position I'm in right now, not my position as in job, but the position I am financially, I, I've never been at, and I've always wanted to. Have extra money to be able to do things. To, for yes, that makes sense. Yes. I like there like, was a time I could not, so oh, I'm glad I, I can. Now. I think I think a lot of us. I can't say everyone because it's not true. <coughs> strive to have enough money that they can be. You can be yeah, but some but like a lot of people aren't in that position. Like I just feel good if I have an extra like five bucks, I can buy a homeless guy a sandwich. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's awesome. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It's but would I like to go out and buy rounds of drinks? Absolutely. But like dropping tons of money like that. So not, everybody's in a position. Oh, no. not everybody's in a position to do it but and, if i had the money and i wouldn't suggest it man like uh it, you would take I would, advantage of that too exactly and but i can read into that and the thing with me oh my god this is where my generosity runs man if i do something out of the kindness of my heart like sometimes i will be at at the convenience store and i'll just buy a pack of cigarettes for somebody because i know they smoke buy them a pack of cigarettes and just like put it in their mailbox at work or just like put it on their desk at work right, right, right. as a like you know just like a just like a, a pay it forward sort of yeah just as a pay it forward but the moment that person asks me hey could you go get me a pack of cigarettes i look at that son with, with like <laughs> the intensity of a thousand sons and i'll be like what did you just ask me to buy you a pack who the hell do you think i am <laughs> Yeah, because right. I do something out of the kindness of my heart does not mean that you should feel comfortable enough to ask me for anything ever. Right. If I buy you, if I were to, if we were to go out to eat and I'm like, no, I got the check. I got the check. But don't come without your wallet. Right, right. What if you said before, like you covered lunch and then somebody was like, when are we going out to lunch again? And you're like, like, who the hell? Wait, excuse me? Yeah, like. I ain't your freaking sugar daddy. Right, I was being kind and bought lunch one time. Yeah. Right? You're just like, when are we going to go buy yo, me more food, dude? Yo, yeah, so that is bothers me, man, because I, I just feel like that person is taking advantage. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Some people will milk niceness. Mm -hmm. And I've run into that. Absolutely, man. But that's, that's when the gravy train stops right Yeah, then, it's like, then you never get anything oh. else ever again. Okay. Right. Try it. <laughs> Try me. Yeah, right? <laughs> But I, I feel like that's uh, that's that's something that all the kids should take, man. Be generous. You know, it's all about sharing, man. If you got it, don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. Yeah, don't to, share to, when you shouldn't share, man. Yeah. Even if you're trying to impress a girl, don't. You can't, man. Yeah, don't give these girls nothing. Wow. <laughs> what? Don't give them nothing. Am I wrong? Okay, then. <laughs> Let's continue with the football. <laughs> Is that an in incorrect statement? <laughs> Is that an incorrect statement, Jones? Oh, and ladies, uh, don't get these dudes nothing either. Said it, Jonas. All right. Is that wrong? Yeah, uh, Jonas. See, I already knew you. you, knew you. It's so hard for you, isn't it? How hard is it? You were the. You dropped the bomb that made the man fall out of the chair, and that was that was my word. <laughs> That was, your that would be word? something that I would say. Probably. I know it was a very, it was a very Joda statement, but I feel like I feel <laughs> dude, look at this run by Dynamo. You're, you're staring right now. You got real slow all of a sudden. Deliveries half the battle, Jonas. But for real, I'm thinking about getting back into some martial arts, man. I want to see kind of like how I settle on this whole job thing. You guys are gonna be hearing about me quitting my job for at least another three weeks, dude. That's cool, man. And then the job. Hunt, dude. We yeah. got a lot of topics. <laughs> but uh, I think I might get back into some martial arts, man. You want, you want, you want, you want to do some martial arts? I, not have to. I barely have enough time to do other things. I know, but I, I want to get you into some wholesome activities. Dude, I'm such a demon. <laughs> I, uh, dude, I go to the gym five days a week, man. What do I mean? I already get extra. I was doing, I was going to the gym uh, five days a week, and I was doing like uh, 
What do you call it? It was like kickbox workout stuff. Good for you. So I would still play volleyball. I go to the gym five days a week and play volleyball. Well, see, and that's a girl sport, so we're going to get you. You're right. There are females there playing, and I play with them. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. It's a terrible thing to hang out with women. Yeah, no, especially when they ask you to get their doll clothes and... Yeah. Barret the hair. That happens every every week at volleyball. I'm act secretly a barret fan because it's I've been wanting to be a barret wearer forever. Those are called berets, Jonas. Well, there's barrettes too. There are barrettes and there's berets. Both. That's how you pronounce it. And they're one spell with two T's, I believe. One is, yeah, one way yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody cares. It's watching this video. <laughs> they all care, Jonas. They want to know about the difference between barrette and berets. You don't see barrettes anymore. Funny My enough. mom wears them. Does she? Because she, she has long hair, so she'll use them to like, pin up so it doesn't hang in her face. Really? But yeah. she's old school though. But they so. don't really have barrettes because now they have like those um like people a lot of people use uh, bobby, bobby pins, pins and stuff now to do that yeah. Was that? They just pin their hair back. Wait a minute, which came first, the barrette or the bobby pin? Well, barrettes are like old. Like, but, let's see, bobby pins are timeless because they're hidden. Yeah. So like I think they probably came first because it was just a piece of metal. Yeah, and then somebody tried to dial up the bobby pin. Yeah, and right. And it became a barrette, and everyone's like, "What do we need this for? We can get a million for a dollar. We can pay eight bucks for two. It is kind of weird to just have like pieces of plastic holding your hair into place. Like, yeah. have you ever seen girls with like the balls so that they tie the around? Oh my god, dude! And I haven't seen them since like a long time ago. Oh, right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting real culturable. How about like the beads? They're, I know what you're talking about. They're yeah. like, like the white girls didn't wear those. <laughs> no, they didn't. Like, that was all us, Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Black <laughs> people. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Black, Jonas. I can okay, do it. Yeah. That'd be like. <laughs> Did you guys wear those corduroys? Honky. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he'll throw a beer. <laughs> 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 movie I actually owned a pair of corduroys, Jones. I freaking hated them, dude. Dude, I had a couple pairs. Dude. I didn't like those under big fat cords were real popular, like for a while. Why? Because everyone wanted to be a mock hippie, dude. Dude, they're the ugliest things. And they're like in the world. olive green or burnt they're umber. Oh, yeah. These earth tones. <laughs> Every single time. Dark brown, chocolate brown, light brown. Yeah, dude. Sandstone. Yeah, dude. That's all they are. Oh, God. <laughs> Mother Earth. It's hundred percent true. Hey, corduroys, dude. They remind me of a good I remember like team. like I remember being a kid and having like the thin ones and they're real nerdy because they're like they're like dress pants. And like, That's what I had. Jonas. Yeah, dude, they're the worst. I had one pair. Oh, your mom dress you funny. You're like I know, I hate it. I had one pair of corduroys and they were like olive driftwood color or some. Sh and they were the ugliest things, and my mom would make me wear them to school, and I freaking hated them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody made fun of him funny enough, well, yeah, but I'm sure they were so. behind my back. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, why am I wearing these pants? What did we start talking yeah, about? Where did we down. start? Where was our number one? Still uh, we started out with Obviously, asking you to Greco Roman wrestle me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Greco. Like I was thinking about wrestling, but I don't, I don't know if I want to wrestle. Like now? Like you're going to find a wrestling club? I just want to like, I just want to like toss you dudes around. Like running plays. Like pro wrestling? Do you go to pro wrestling school? Oh, ew, Jonas. I'm not, no, they don't wear enough underpants for me. I'm not walking around in my the other BBDs. Wear a singlet. No, I'm not wearing a singlet. That's like Greco Roman wrestling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they wear like their shorts and then they no, come they over. Know. It's a all one piece, dude. Yeah, but it's like shorts and then it has like a full shirt and like a tank top. Ooh, pro wrestlers just walk around in their, uh, their food of the looms. Uh, dude, I feel you. <laughs> Freaking tidy whities that are just a different color. Oh my god, I'm so old, I'm gonna die later. <laughs> He's dead right now. <laughs> Alright, everybody, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, just share the video with everyone you know because that would be the coolest thing to do. Yeah, do it. Uh, Buffy Jones and TNT Dynamo. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Oh, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.